There's a foggy haze in the air tonight. Hello, thanks for tuning in to Trevor's Brew Diaries. I'm Trevor Luther, head brewer and one of the owners here at Grove City Brewing Company, located in the heart of Grove City. Today's episode is going to be about our number one selling beer, the Beulah Blonde. The Beulah Blonde is an American blonde ale with an ABV of 4.6 and the IBUs of 26. This blonde is very approachable and easy drinking. Now a few of you may say, hold on, back up. What's ABVs and IBUs? ABV stands for alcohol by value. It's the measure of how much ethanol is contained in a given volume of an alcoholic beverage. Uh, IBUs are, is the abbreviation for international bittering units. It's a scale of a gauge to gauge the a beer's bitterness. IBUs are measured in parts per million of isohumulo, which is an acid found in hops. It gives the beer its bitterness and bite. Uh, through the IBU scale, can be used as a general guideline. The higher the number in bitterness, uh, the higher the IBU. Uh, for instance, uh, domestic beers that your dad or grandpa used to drink would be 12 to 27 IBUs, uh, where IPAs generally run 60 to 80 IBUs. Um, but it's important to note that the malt and other flavors can mask the taste and bitterness in the beer. So even if a beer has a higher IBU level, it uh, doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna be bitter to the taste as much as you would think, because the malt sweetness will cut down on the acidity from the hops. So don't always use the IBU scale as your judgment on whether or not to try a beer. For an example, our FBIPA or our Columbus Street, they are both very high in IBUs, but I balance them with a malt characteristic that adds some sweetness so they aren't as bitter. Uh, so what does this have to do with the Beulah Blonde? Our Beulah Blonde has some great hops, um, and I use, actually use a lot of hops in this beer, even though the flavor doesn't uh, act as a hoppy beer, as some would call it. We use Amarillo and Citra, which both impart tropical flavors and citrus. And I balance it out with a great malt profile. This makes our beer very unique in the combination of malt and hops. Uh, the malts are house blend, uh, house base malts, what you would call it. And the star of the show is honey malt. Honey malt gives the beer uh, malt sweetness, a little bit of a honey flavor, uh, but, but does not overshine the hops. So what you end up with is a citrusy, semi-sweet golden colored blonde ale. The name Beulah Blonde was named after Beulah Park. Beulah Park is an area in Grove City. Built in 1923, it was the first thoroughbred racetrack in Ohio. During the off season, it was home to uh, concerts and firework displays. And uh, in the later years, it was host to the second largest volleyball tournament in the world. It's since been closed, and with the help of the Grove City Planning Commission, it's being redeveloped into a living area with condos, townhouses, senior living, uh, some retail space, and uh, 60 acres of green space. And it's what they're hoping for. So come down, visit us here at the tap room, enjoy a pint of beer Le Bon, and uh, toast to Beulah Park's past and future. Cheers. Join us for our next episode. It'll be a brew day about IPAs. Hey,